Tommy. A couple of loose screws produces a whole lot of black holes of the streets. Yet it's, it's a hell on earth, a Utah on earth, Tommy. Now Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fellow, of the streets of the unseen business are fun fiction. How did Tommy end up missing both arms? Oh, let me tell you, I'm Melton, son of a carpenter. My daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers, mom Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter. I get to tell parables. And Tommy is my parable series about Tommy the no arm Chinese fella. Oh, I had to restart this uh, a little technical difficulties. But uh, yeah, if I've said anything twice or I've left anything out, that's why. Tommy was told by his boss Wu to slowly feed his right arm into a wood chipper, and Tommy's always been blindly obedient. He's Chinese. He slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper. Lefty, the left arm, saw what was uh, going on with righty, the right arm, and wisely jumped off. This parable is not just about don't stick your arm in a wood chipper. Everybody knows not to do that. It's don't let anything bad happen to someone who looks just like you, who is just like you, at work, at home, wherever. You see something bad happening to someone who is the right arm to you being the left arm, jump off. A lefty's doing all right. He goes to Vegas. He's very good at the one-armed bandit. He's got a nice hand modeling career going on. And surprisingly, this isn't going to happen to you. Tommy got a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. It was a test of management. It was a loyalty test. See if he was blindly obedient enough to be a manager. So now he's bossing a whole lot of folks around. Also won his girlfriend Rhea's heart. She's, um, she was dancing at the Snake Pit. Go figure a dance club somewhere here in L.A. Los Angeles. And Tommy's always been scaly. He always talks with a horse lisp. He likes to stick his tongue out a lot. I told you he was Chinese. They've been sticking their tongue out the rest of the world for countless millennia. But uh, now that he's missing both arms, he does a very mean snake dance. And he snaked his way in between Rhea and whoever she was dancing with. He's been there ever since. Now I want to make this a quick one. I got this morning's in and un under 11 of me, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, Whiskers the cat stuck up a tree. Uh, uh, no, 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 that's the funny. A uh, Whiskers the dog stuck, stuck up a tree because a mean cat chased him up there. Yes, yeah, Sandra, the guardian angel, is going to get him down. Got it in and under uh, 11 minutes. Uh, so I hope to do this one quick because it's just a hell on earth. A fire and brimstone one. About my wheelchair, gold here. Who well, I'm not taking outside because of uh, some difficulties. See, I never leave gold behind. He is that. He's gold. The only time I leave him behind is when I go, like, go last uh, week to the SSI office or go out to get groceries with my nice uh, personal assistant who does the laundry for me. was just here doing that, cleaning the apartment very nicely. The only time I'm, I'm out without gold is then, and that's one time. Worried about pretty pictures that the one only is designing and funny stories, my parables, came in. You know, he tried to get his employees to do it for him, but uh, they were wise enough to say no. And as you know, our streets, are, our fiction, deals with a whole lot of folks who look alike. Gene pulls of folks taking turns being one person, and yes, the streets also involve uh, staged events, making sure something happens a certain way, be it in one room with two people, or in a stadium full of people, a state full of people, a continent full of people. <coughs> St 
staged events and a uh, whole lot of folks that look like that's what our fun street fixing is about oh here's Sandra yeah I said it right enough the nightly parable and then the, the morning uh, whiskers is a praying because he he stuck up a tree and I'm curious I think maybe you know was out climbing as a cat and got you know whiskers got caught in the tree but uh, turns out he's a dog got chased up there by a mean cat so I send Sandra to go uh, get him down oh this is kind of appropriate Jared prophecies because it's about the pot people the Utah oh, they have worse names than that on the street they uh, often are, that's what the Chinese assholes, that's Tommy, are reduced to around here lately. And every once in a while the Muslim streets using that for cover. To come in to do one thing or another. A hatred noise coming from the apartment down below. And in this case something more sinister. It's my fix and I'm waiting on folks to get my chair working so I don't have to worry about going across the street to get food. That's glorious hatred. It's a personal knife in the back. Hates to see me eat, sleep. So that kind of thing. The Lori is yes the devil. And Tommy as this parable stretches out, and it's already up to 11 minutes, so I'm going to do the sugar check, show you a few of these. Show you my eyes changing. Uh, very real stuff there, just like uh, very real stuff when you try to call me, you can't reach me, you have no idea when else your family's lifeline won't be allowed to work. Oh, here's a nice three check. Uh, I see you. Oh, I'll say a lot of mean stuff, like in this Tommy Purple, to get you to pick up that phone, a lot of funny stuff. Oh, I've never gotten one comment about that Osama rumor, that Obama is Osama's son. I put the two side by side. Osama bin Laden practice ain't Obama. Oh, man. If you if you look at the, the streets, this is my fun, make something out of nothing stuff, but I was watching a Deep Space Nine last night I've been watching oh, 20 minutes here and there as I eat I'm not much of a TV guy but I got the Netflix and um, it's from like 1999 when it came out and I swear at the beginning they had two Osama lookers you know what I mean you have somebody with a caricature look and then they, ha they occur on TV in this program or that program, and they, they have that characteristic look. So it's a street thing. It's a kind of a, look, there's a Os Osama, and there's his son, I swear. In one of the scenes, they had a, a something going on where it, it literally looked like that bumper sticker. You remember the one I'm talking about, the psychedelic bumper sticker? So uh, I was surprised to find that there. I, you know, NCIS has a lot of uh, Osama PR campaign stuff. Oh, the last one I found was uh, from last season, and uh, the one at the hospital where the babies get born or something like that from one of the cast members. And as part of it, they actually said the line. Terrorists are driven by their beliefs. No, they're not. That's bullshit. They're driven by their cowardice. Their hatred. And that's an example of the PR campaign. Didn't say uh, the terrorists are driven by their twisted beliefs. Didn't say they're driven by what they think is right. They said that. Uh, so uh, yeah, you uh, play along. Uh, I'm I'm checking on Deep Space Nine. It's my something about nothing. I always tell you where it ends. When you pick up that phone, you try to call me, four two four two two nine four one four zero on that side of the phone. 
uh, of the video, excuse me. You got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed, you're making a video of whoever's in the room there with you. Oh, it's a different uh, website, I think. You got the uh, the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed. I've been asking for a 911 flight 93 check. That's you trying to call me, John Melton Brady. I have yet to get one of those 911 flight 93 checks of America's Lifeline in over a decade of asking. That's a lot of mass censorship conducted without fear of being covered by the evening news. We the people must be the evening news. Get out the camera right now, make the video, whoever's in the room there with you. Your phones make videos nowadays, you can be the reporter. Have them turn around and make the video of whatever you get when you don't get me, whatever boring thing, phone ringing, error message, busy signal. Whatever you get is not going to be boring if you need the firemen, the police, paramedics, and yes, it even, even if you leave a message, I don't get it, and you don't show up on my caller ID. Those who are hijacking calls to me, and who knows when else. They are worried enough about to alter phone records covered up, so you get video proof of that. Phone game. Much worse than Watergate, that's just politics and theft and all that. This involves America's safety. Your family's lifeline. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me in post. There's the serious stuff. I think my wheelchair is serious too, but uh, it can fall under the category of making something out of nothing. So Tommy went in under the cover of the pod paper. On site today at Teak Terrace, making hatred noise. But he goes in as I'm out and left gold unattended at my immaculate apartment here, calmly, basically waiting for you to walk through. Tear down the great wall of evil as just me and all of my imagery. And let's get started on building Jesus' immaculate house of a thousand points of light to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. Yes, that was a religious censorship that attacked us with all those cowardly Husseins with 9-11. And then uh, also attacked us with politically correct, that cowardly Hussein. <coughs> Can't even uh, back up his own religion. They don't name him Hussein unless they're Muslim, guys. He reached out to the Muslims, got backlash from the people. America, despite our menace news media, and he backed off of being Muslim, and he ties to being Muslim. Oh, I'll show you these eyes later on, doing a little genetic carpentry for real. Medical research being passed by as my doctors can't talk about uh, my changing eyes. They also can't talk about those 93 checks I haven't gotten for a decade now either. Well, let me get to that because I'm hoping to get a call. I'm waiting on a call for the chair. And I'd better get this done as quickly as I can. Tommy goes in and yes, he, he, he has to do it all on his own. He gets a spare key from somebody and opens up the door, comes in. And he's literally using his mouth. His feet can't work the screwdriver as well. Using his mouth to loosen two screws off the left side of my wheelchair. I think it's like a uh, grease cover, bearing cover, if you know what I mean. But I don't know. It's not the main bolt that holds that chair in, or holds that wheel in. But I've been on the phone trying to get, and uh, the company, Burbank Medical, said, yeah, we'll come right out and uh, pick up your chair, take it back. And today they've called up with, uh, they need the doctor's number. I've called up the nice doctors. I'm waiting on the early, so I'm calling up the... Uh, the traveling nurse, it's uh, easier to have them come to me. And, um, oh yeah, especially in that heat. Uh, the, uh, a little while ago. I'm waiting on a call from them so they can I can give them the number. They can call up Burbank Medical themselves, however they want to do it. But they won't come up, pick up the chair, and yeah, I'm not going to take uh, gold over to even get food, not knowing what's going to happen. If it breaks down, I want it to break down here. Remember when you hear the pot people in your neighborhood praying on that little old lady down the street or your family, you check in post and five in front of them. When they uh, knock on your door, 
You ask him, how do you reach Melton? By phone to taunt him about his real livelihood of building Jesus' immaculate house. Not just my gay livelihood. I've been showing you graphic art. My real livelihood is building Jesus' immaculate house. And the Mormons, Muslim light, who have a lot of Muslims on their college campuses in Utah, they uh, are an active part in that, holding back my work. So let me get back to uh, Tommy loosens up a couple of screws and uh, let me get my sugar check. <coughs> I done. This one's empty. Does his uh, dirty deed, a dangerous deed? Who knows what happens as I go across the street, busy Eagle Rock, and uh, something happens to my chair, middle of traffic. And yes, this time he gets picked up. He's hanging. It's my main street fix, and I get to vent about my chair not working and folks dragging their feet on fixing it. So my fun cartoon Tommy of the moment, once again, Gene Pools for the folks being Tommy, he gets hung by those balls of steel that got him in trouble. And not only that, John is going through those um, crucifix and X's, John of the Melty Pit Bull Project, showing telling folks don't do this you're going to end up here oh don't worry it's our fix and they have plenty of replacements all of those folks and he comes across um, Mitch hanging right there and Frank hanging right there they're military streets oh don't worry they got replacements and he says what happened and uh, uh, Frank tells him oh Tommy had two of us up, had a couple of loose screws in it because we were running cover for them. We grew tails too. Yes, those tails are attached to those balls of steel, Frank and Mitch. They're also attached to uh, that crucifix and eggs where they got the fountain of youth in them hanging by. It's stone cold fire and brimstone. Don't have to worry about it till you flatline. You see that bright light? Then you got an eternity of something much worse than that, guys. And yes, back at uh, Tommy's house, uh, a slightly taller, because they had to work, on, they didn't know Tommy was going to be stupid, the last Tommy. So they have to have a, a new Tommy in on the fly, and Rhea says as he crawls through the doggy door, he, he can't, he, he Got the key out to come in here, but uh, he, he can be very... He likes to just go through the doggy door at his house, and uh, he doesn't have to get the key out, and then have to turn it in the lock. He, he used to have the dog, but it was before met Rhea, and he um, couldn't feed the dog. The dog died underneath the porch. It smelled for a while, but yeah, then it went away. So he crawls under the new Tommy, and Rhea says, You're a little taller, Tommy. And he looks a little nervous, and she says, No, I like a nice tall husband. Yeah, unbeknownst to Tommy, he got married. Check out tomorrow. Maybe I'll get some more funny stuff going. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my means of getting food. Yeah, the nice pass lady could uh, give me a ride, but I'd, right across the street, I'd like to be able to get food. I'd like to not worry about gold breaking down so when you get a chance and you if you happen to be witness uh, pod people even hanging on those crucifix and x's uh, frank and mitch and Tom, uh, tommy uh, swing them for me tell it's them it's from the one and only he tried to take out my food you assaulted not only me, but uh, Jesus is a Maclet house that I will build. So you've got the best health care plan around. We're going to use you to protect Jesus as a Maclet house for a long time to come. And any of those devils out there who would take food out of the belly of Jesus' house or take a wheelchair out from under anyone in Jesus as a Maclet house. Here are the eyes from... 2013 March, you can see there's a little bit of blue there. The words are kind of covering up. It's an image, Melton Page. And it is Melton Page. It's a 
graphic art photo prepared and printed as a 4 by 6 print. And here's from about a year later, early part of 2014, before I went in the hospital and lost 80 pounds and ended up in gold here. Ended up in a wheelchair, a manual wheelchair. Smaller brown circles slowly disappearing, bigger bluer circles growing in through and around. Uh, you'll be able to see the smaller, the brown part, the center there, is now kind of whitish. And the outer circle brown is missing if you're a doctor who can actually talk about my eyes and or 93 checks. Remember, folks who can reach me by phone, it's this part of managed censorship. If they say no, well, that's terrible. You should be able to reach Melton by phone. You can see the white part there can be raised. It can be more white, even the brown part there around the black. Now, folks, who you check and post in five in front of. And remember, you can find those big fives at dapadelia.blogspot.com or classcomplex2.wixsite.com slash dapadelia or vote-truth.blogspot.com. Print out those big files, post and repost them, tell everyone, try to call Milton, ask why America's lifeline is being hijacked, call me up in front of network news anchor, local news anchors. Why do we have to be the reporter? When John Milton Brave, with some very easily documented, demonstrated censorship, has been asking for a 93 check for a decade, no certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS about the 93 checks, or Tommy's, or Sama, or... Any of my attention getting stuff, any of my funny stuff. Why do we have to uh, do your job for you? Get the reaction from post, and yes, post and repost those fives, and any good name three check videos you might find of me. Remember to ask and answer Jesus' question, and I feel like, uh, yeah, I found two bolts. I found one bolt on the floor about a week ago, and I didn't know where it was from. I thought it was from the table. I put it away, and then as I was trying to make my bed. I uh, saw that's a genetic wound just like the eyes from the inside not the outside. As I was trying to you know get the sheet on the bed I saw that something's missing there and I looked on the other side and they got two balls. Ask and answer Jesus' question is for after saying Obama terrorist I've got my answer I've been asking for a decade I have yet to get one 93 check. Ask and answer Jesus' question for yourself with your family's lifeline. I guess you can guess that uh, if your phone's not allowed to work for political, business, religious, whatever censorship, in an emergency, and sections can count in an emergency, it's not always about the complete censorship. Your phone's not allowed to work, it's going to be just as newsworthy as me asking for a 93 check for a decade and not getting one. I don't approve of the buffoon Trump either, the wrestling guy. Uh, yeah, he's comic relief after uh, placing that cowardly Hussein. Make that video, post that video, and oh yeah. Oh, uh, back to the Deep Space Nine. Uh, they had the good uh, captain and the bad captain, the gray-haired fella. And, uh, yeah, around uh, 1999. My fun making something fun out of nothing. Right around then, that would be when uh, Hussein, the cowardly Hussein, and uh, grew up in Africa to be closer to his dad, uh, Osama, during those formative years. Then moved on to Hawaii, and then on to Harvard. That would be you know, about that time that, that gray-haired guy is there and uh, attacking America in his cowardly way. It's my fun rambling, making something about nothing. Remember, pick up that phone and you can uh, get your street resume out there, get your something about nothing out there as well. Because it always gets back to you trying to call me, 424-229-4140, and it becoming something. Call me up to tell me what you believe or ask what I mean by Jesus as a Michael's house. Do that. Get religious censorship on video that affects our lifelines. And yes, I call it Jesus of Michael House. You can call it Opportunity House. It's an opportunity for a whole lot of folks from all walks of life all over the world to build a better world. But I have to call it Jesus of Michael House. It's uh, in the fine print. Uh, I hear there will be a test at the end. It's pass, fail, or purgatory.